Hey there, in this video I'm going to talk about this lens from Canon, the RF24-240 to f4-6.3 to IS. What's interesting about this lens, it was released three years ago, it's a 10x zoom lens, and not many people know about it actually. I think this is the most underrated Canon affordable RF zoom lens. I actually got this lens for a project that I was working on a year and a half ago, Highlander Adventure. For this project, I needed a lens that would offer me the best compromise regarding image quality, size and versatility. This was because I had to cover an event for five days while hiking, carrying all my photo equipment, my typical hiking essentials and also food and water. So the weight of my setup was really important to me considering that half of the time while I was hiking I was actually running and trying to find the best angles uh, to cover all the things for my client. Considering all that needs I decided to give this lens a try. At first I was skeptical considering it was like 10 times zoom lens that was really affordable but luckily I was pleasantly surprised. So this lens is a 10 times zoom lens for full frame cameras but it can work with the APS-C cameras so you can use it with the R50, R10 or R7. Actually for some people this is also a great choice for those cameras especially if they're planning to upgrade to full frame in the near future. The aperture of this lens is not consistent, it starts with f4 and then goes up to 6.3 when you zoom all the way to 240 and the f4 is only up to I think 28 millimeters. It's straight away after that it just starts to close down. It's not the best lens for low light but it still has a really good IS image stabilization that can compensate in those situations and also it will help you the image stabilization regarding shooting while uh, you are fully extended to 200 40 millimeters focal length. Now the lens is really compact for what it offers. When it's not extended it's really close to the size of the RF24 to 105 4L. It's only one inch longer but when it extends it shows all that 240 millimeters of focal length. Regarding the weight it's basically the same as the RF24 to 105 4L but it offers I would say more than double of the zoom capabilities. The build quality is amazing actually, especially for the price. When you see it next to 24 to 105, you will not see any difference. It feels the same in the hands and the build quality is actually great, especially considering the price and what you get. Now, you don't get the weather sealing and that's my biggest gripe with this lens. I would really like to see the weather sealed version of this lens. Now, although it doesn't have weather sealing, I did use it in dusty environments and I didn't catch any dust inside, although it was for a like, short period but still it is well protected regarding that, at least from my experience. I did use it in light rain, but if you plan to use it in heavy rain or in situations where that could happen, I would advise you to buy a rain cover for lens that will additionally protect it from those scenarios. Optically it's good enough, it's not perfect, it's much better than I was expecting it to be, but it's still not as good as the RF24 to 105 4L. It has some like black corners if you shoot totally wide, but you don't have to worry about that considering that the lens corrections do the job pretty well and you will not see those black corners on your images especially if you shoot jpegs or if you just edit your raw files through lightroom just turn on the lens correction profiles and it's gonna look good and actually i usually close this lens straight away to 6.3 so on the wide angle i lose some of those artifacts it turns this lens into fixed uh 6.3 aperture lens and in most of the cases the 6.3 is uh, really nice and sharp on both uh, sides of the focal length now i mostly combine this lens with the r6 or now with the r6 mark II the reason is pretty simple when I do these events I usually have to send the images right during the event or sometimes at the end of each day and I want to handle my files as fast as I can that's the reason why I don't go with the R5 because with the R6 files I can send the images much faster the lack of the resolution and the ability to crop I just compensate with the reach of this lens I use this lens now and then for some other jobs where like it's important to have some versatile lens where I can cover as much as I can, where I don't need shallow depth of field and light conditions are not challenging. But one thing that I would advise you with this lens is to buy the lens hood, it doesn't come with one. Unfortunately Canon does not provide lens hoods with non-L lenses. I'm not sure why is that, I would like them to change that considering that some lenses do really need the lens hood like this one. Because when you are on 24 millimeter focal length it doesn't cope really well with flares. So my suggestion is to buy a lens hood with this lens. I actually use this lens also a lot for my private stuff. 
I initially bought it for the Highlander, the whole project and that stuff, but uh, I really like the versatility, especially for hiking and for traveling. I can cover a lot of different things. It's actually great for B-rolls, for video, because you can do a lot of different type of B-rolls with it, considering that it offers versatility. I would actually say that it's even better for video. I do see this lens as a great uh, documentary tool, considering the versatility that it offers, especially for documentary situations where you don't need a lot of light, and considering that the new cameras can easily go up to uh, 3200 ISO and even higher. I do combine this lens with two other lenses, the RF16 2.8 and uh, RF50 1.8. Those lenses are small and light, so it's easy to carry them around with this lens. And uh, for those situations where I need a wider angle or uh, low light shots, uh, the 50 is great for that and I can do portraits with it. So I would advise maybe to consider buying those two lenses in the near future after you buy this one to fill up those gaps that this uh, lens cannot cover. And those lenses are not that expensive so if you are in the market for an all-around lens that can cover different type of scenarios I think you should consider the RF24 to 240. This lens is a great choice for photo enthusiasts, for travel photographers and filmmakers, for people that are taking landscape photos and looking for something small and versatile, for wildlife shooting and for some professional use. I use this lens on many occasions professionally and personally and I was always surprised how good it was actually it was really versatile it offered me a reach and it didn't suffer a lot regarding quality and when combined with the RF 16 2.8 and uh, RF 50 1.8 you get a really affordable setup that can cover everything so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section if you did like this uh, video please leave a like if you really liked it subscribe and see you in the next one bye